Hello, it's my birthday today. So uh, that was really, really high. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, my day did not start off so great. Well, at least Leo, my cat's day, did not start off so great. He uh, kind of threw up his food first thing this morning. So we're going to go check on him. I'm just going to make sure he's okay. If you guys have not seen my previous vlogs, uh, you uh, might not know why there's plastic all over the apartment. Buddy, are you okay? Are you okay, Leo? How are you, Leo? Are you okay? I woke up at 7 a.m. and I literally had to mentally prepare myself to clean the carpet. So I haven't even done that. He's like, look at him, look at him, buddy. P.S. I just watched that footage back and one, I really need a new vlog camera with the flip out screen so I can see myself so I'm not like getting double chins when I film. And two, um, I slept with my hair like this and don't have any makeup on, but like, I'm actually really proud of how my chin is doing right now. All this has cleared up, basically, and um, this is the only guy that I have going on right now. Breakouts are never ending, and they seem to get worse at like midway through the, you know, female cycle. Leo, you're being so cuddly. I know it's a trick. It's because you want some wet food, isn't it? You want some wet foods, but no, I don't know if your, I don't know if your tummy's ready for the wet foods. Oh, tell me you have dry in your bowl, buddy. You can just have that for a little bit, and we'll see if you're okay. I am the most worrisome cat parent ever. I freak out. First of all, I'm like afraid of puke. I'm so oh. Okay, Leo. Really, Leo? I was just about to make the bed. I was just about to make the bed, Leo. Oh, good. Now you're off. So, no! <laughs> no! You want all the attentions. So, our bed looks really, really cool because we just bought a brand new comforter uh, before Christmas or so because our old one was really torn up from Leo being a kitten. Like, we had had that for two and a half years or three. I don't know how long people usually have comforters, but it was getting really torn and everything because it had thread, like, embroidery details on it. Anyway, what I was getting at is the plastic right here, um, different parts of our apartment had been leaking. The complex, not actually our, like, bedroom or anything. But since the new comforter was fairly expensive and we didn't want it to get water damaged, we have just been sleeping with a really ugly white bed, basically. Yesterday, I mixed all my slimes together because we are going to be moving soon, Craig and I. I'll give you guys updates of, oh, this looks so pretty today. I got so distracted. But I will keep you guys updated on the vlogs here and on my SoCraftastic channel because I'm going to be doing main channel vlogs. And like, how am I holding this camera? I'm such a bad vlogger. I need practice. Ow. And I just ah, stepped on my tripod. You know, this is fun talking to you guys because... Uh, uh, I'm home all day alone, so I'm in Leo, but he can't talk. He doesn't speak English, so. So I think I'm gonna post this video slash vlog on Thursday. Look at this, I can't even hold the string back. It looks pretty cool. I am gonna put some little snippets of the houses that we looked at. I am not disclosing whether or not we picked one yet, and I'm not going to tell you which one we picked if we did, but soon you guys will find out. Wow, I'm just like, my hair looks so great today. Really, I thought it would be more interesting to take you guys around homes and show you like what I was looking at, but it's mainly really exciting only for the people looking because otherwise it's just like, oh, it's someone's house. Most of the time people still live there, so I couldn't show you, you know, a lot of the walls because of pictures. I'm going to just tell you the features that I purchased personally look for and wish we're all bulked together in one home, but the fact of the matter is when you're house hunting, usually you're not going to find a house that you're a hundred percent satisfied with. So if you are in the process of moving at any time in the near future, keep that in mind. There might be things from five different houses that you wish you could mesh all into one, but I mean if you do build your own home, that definitely can be arranged, but that wouldn't have been a great decision budget-wise or timeline-wise for Craig and I. So we decided to find one that is already built. Something I was really set on is having a house over 2,000 square feet 
preferably around 2,500 to 3,000. Definitely want a garage and a basement. I really like white finishes in the kitchen. I felt like that wasn't a deal breaker in case we do find one that doesn't have white cabinets in the kitchen. I'm just not as much of a fan of the like classic older style wooden cabinets. Also, I know a lot of people really hate carpet in the living rooms and bedrooms. I don't really care. I don't mind having carpet in either of those places. And something that really, really is important to me is having a bathtub in the bathroom and not just a shower. I don't care if they're connected or not. Something else I really want is a nice big walk-in closet, lots of storage space. I don't know if I'm missing out on anything. We don't want a big yard. We don't want a pool. And we don't want our neighborhood to look too crazy new to the point where there's no trees and it just looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. So that's all the clip I have. If you want to try and guess which place we might pick, leave a comment below. I don't know, maybe I'll come up with another one of these videos showing you more houses that I looked through. You won't know until the next video or two. I also briefly mentioned in my So Craftastic vlog that I got this book, but you know, that vlog's not up yet, or it might be if you're watching this a couple days late. So I'm so excited to have Bailey J's book. I wanted to get this a long time ago when it first came out, which was it wasn't really that long ago, but I always put things off. So I'm pretty excited for this to learn new techniques. So yeah, I'm not gonna like go through the whole book because I don't want to ruin it, but that's a sneak peek. But I got this from Barnes and Noble. And yeah, support Bailey. Also, I did create this really cute Valentine's Day card. Craig and I are probably going to celebrate Valentine's Day this weekend. We're going to go back to Toledo on Friday and hang out with friends for dinner. Then Saturday night, him and I will probably do something, just the two of us together. But this is the card I filmed, and I think it's so cute. I was going to make an entire Valentine's Day video, but I didn't get around to it. I got just really busy with the house hunting and traveling back to my hometown and stuff and doing adulting things, so I just... I couldn't post the video in time. Here's my polar bear and the water candle. The water is drying out. It's evaporated over the past week. I'm about to make myself some, I guess, brunch. It's like 11 a.m. right now. I should have eaten a long time ago, but I was kind of like nervous about the Leo thing. So I'm having some cashew yogurt, which is super, super good. And then I have fresh raspberries, blueberries, and chia seeds, and someone's calling me, hold on. This yogurt is so good, I 10 out of 10 recommend, especially mixing in fruit and nuts and chia seeds, maybe granola, but then that would be more added sugar, and I try to not eat like a ton, even though I usually fail. So yeah, that looks delicious, doesn't it? I think that this stuff would also go really good on top of plain oatmeal. So I'm going to try that one of these days. I just got some from Target, like a big uh, tub of it. Also, update with Leo Buddy. He's seeming to be fine. He just ate like an hour ago. And he cleaned himself and he's napping. This is normal, so he's good. He heard the camera turn off and woke up. I'm sorry. But you get pets now. You get the pets. Yes. The chin rubs. You're so sweet, buddy. Yeah. All right, so I just took a bath. I basically just rinse off in the bathtub so I don't have to wash my hair. I don't like to wash my hair more than like once or twice a week. Honestly, usually once a week. It's just there's so much of it and it's just so annoying to dry it and stuff or wait for it to dry. I'm not really planning on doing much of anything. I'm just gonna stay home. Stay at the apartment and um, I want to get this vlog up. It's such a mess everywhere in here. One of the things I really want to do is beat the Brutals in the level of Super Mario Odyssey called Dark Side of the Moon. So that's something I want to do tonight. Also, Craig got me, where is it? Yesterday he went shopping. I asked him to find me something I could maybe eat for lunches because I kind of run out of ideas sometimes. Um, so he got me this. Basically, because I try to not eat a lot of dairy, I can't drink regular milk, and I don't like the taste of it anyway. And I think next week I might do a grocery store haul for you guys, if that sounds interesting. I don't know, I love watching what people get from the store, but we shop at Whole Foods a lot. The only thing that I am concerned about is granulated garlic. Please do not taste like garlic or I will cry. We love this pizza here. It's so good. There is milk in it, but I can handle it. These fries are really good. These are really delicious. Probably not good for you at all, but super good. 
There's some delicious bagels that I enjoy eating, and also Ezekiel bread is so good. My absolute favorite nuggets, they're meatless and soy free. They're made with some sort of like weird mushroom fungus. They are so good. Please don't let that turn you off to them unless you're allergic to mushroom. But I try not to eat meat in the morning and afternoon, and I try and just eat meat for dinner, so either chicken or fish. I'm so proud of myself. I haven't eaten beef or pork or gelatin for almost two years now. And it was the easiest thing that I've ever done. It's so not hard at all to do something like that. I bought so many boxes of these over the past few months. These corn tamales are so good, but I just realized a couple weeks ago that they add this much sugar. Hold on. They add 24 grams of sugar to this, and that is not okay, so I don't wanna get these anymore. The freezer is mad that I've left it open this long. Oops. And then this is really good as well. So I took my hair poof out. I don't want to actually put on any makeup or anything today. And then I have kind of a mismatching outfit on. My shirt has cat hair all over it. Thanks, Leo. And these pants. I love them so much. But I'm really sad because they're getting pilly and worn out. And I don't think I can get a new pair of them because they're from like three seasons ago. Or three years ago, whatever. Oh, and these lines on the ground, the tape lines, are from the P90X3 workout. So this is the other thing on my agenda for tonight. Craig and I do this workout every single night almost. We sometimes take one night a week off. I'm really happy because we've kept up with this for seven weeks straight now, so that's a great accomplishment. And otherwise, we're just going to have a home-cooked meal, which is my favorite thing. I love home-cooked meals. I'm not saying that I'm a chef or anything, but there's just something about a home-cooked meal, not having all the salt and butter that restaurants put in. My taste buds and my stomach prefer that. Too much grease and stuff, not good. Am I talking too loud? Am I talking too loud for you? <laughs> so I'm going to end this vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're new here, please subscribe to my vlog channel for new vlogs every single week on Live Love Sarah Lynn. Wow, that was so promotional. But seriously, if you guys enjoy my videos, please like them, subscribe, comment. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Stay tuned for new videos coming up on So Craftastic soon and also my cat's channel, Leo McWhiskers. I'll see you soon. Bye!